Okay, so welcome. You're gonna factory reset uh, this phone uh, or soft reset, accessing directly from the settings of the phone. Okay, uh, if your phone is uh, locked with the screen with a passcode, passcode, uh, pattern, or password, and you're not able to access to the main menu, uh, I suggest you to find my video called Hard Reset for HTC 530 uh, on my channel here in my channel for uh, easy and fast steps on uh, using external buttons for to reset the phone if, you, if that, that's your case but if you're able to ask to the main menu um, this is the right steps to remove Google or just delete any information stored in this phone okay and uh, I would like to mention about another issue that if you're trying to remove a Google to register a new one, a new account or your own account because you maybe uh, you got this phone as a second uh, as a used one or you bought it on eBay or Amazon or a pawn shop and you want to remove account so um, nowadays for the extra security that Google has launched on their smartphones they require you to enter uh, the previous email address and password I mean Google account and password um, in order for you to to uh, register your own, okay. So it's very important to uh, for you to know that Google account that previously was synchronized with this phone, uh, because if you don't know, you don't know the email address or password, then you won't be able to register your own. So unfortunately, that's extra security that Google has launched on their smartphones so far. Uh, but um, if you're just trying to delete the information on your phone for easy one. Um, or because your phone doesn't um, something's wrong with the motherboard, uh, just to need to calibrate or something. So yeah, that's the right step to do. And um, so make sure to back up any information like uh, any uh, videos, applications, any um, pictures, uh, co contacts. You need to do a sync on your HTC account or Google account. So after performing this factory reset, uh, you will be able to retrieve any information with your Google account and your password. Okay, so um, let's go. Let's do this. It's a settings. Go to settings and then you're going to scroll. Okay, you're going to find account and sync. Right, this one. I'm so sorry. You know, it's not the one. You're going to have backup and reset. I'm sorry. Yeah, you need to find your backup and reset. Okay, uh, backup account set up Google account. If you already have a um, Google account registered on this phone, this is what the email address is supposed to sh appear or show. Uh, but in this case, you need to go to reset the phone. Okay, factory reset. So you need to go to this option, just touch that one, and uh, factory data reset will erase all data from your phone's internal storage including system and app data and settings, download apps, music, photo and videos. Okay, that's why it's very very important to back up um, all of this information on your Google account. Download apps with your same email address registered on this phone and password. You will be able to retrieve any application that you previously purchased from uh, Google Play. So you don't have to worry about that one. Neither the system and app data settings. You everything is gonna be restored with your uh, current email address. Okay, so if you agree to these terms and conditions, just go to the bottom one and it says OK. Uh, you are about to erase all data on this phone, including your photos, music, media, media files. This cannot be reversed. Do you want to continue? All right. So you agree to this? Just go to OK. Okay, and this uh, the phone is basically. Uh, deleting all information stored in this one so just for a couple minutes um, it's gonna take a few minutes for the phone to fully uh, back up or turn on and then you're gonna go get okay, to the main screen okay uh, so I have another video on how to we'll show you the step by step on how to um, insert your sim card uh, use uh, uh, data from your carrier T-Mobile, AT&T, or any other carrier that you're using on your phone, or Family Mobile, in this case it's one from Family Mobile. Um, also, you want to register Wi-Fi, you want to um, set the date and time, and um, and also accept terms and conditions from Google, T-Mobile, and then 
uh, gets to you the main screen of the phone. So if you need help on those steps, uh, please find my video uh, Start Up HTC Desire 530. Okay, so uh, remember this is a factory reset, remove Google, but you need to know your account that previously was signed or registered on this phone. Okay, um, if you buy this phone to your neighbor, friends, or any uh, local store then just you can go back to them and have them give you the email address and password then you have to enter that and confirm and then you can register your own or create a new account so uh, please I know that it's a lot of issues arise on this about this uh, Google has launched the extra security on their smartphones so yeah, that's that's the only the only issue that we, you can have on this phone so far. But other other than that, um, the phone is already uh, reset to the factory values. So just um, like it's gonna take about five eight minutes. It's been like two or three minutes only so far. So just wait for it and uh, please find my other videos about this phone. Uh, hard reset. Uh, assistive uh, voice assistance or talkback or about unboxing you need information about this phone uh, camera resolution internal memory capability and things like that okay so uh, yeah thanks so much for choosing my video uh, any other questions uh, let me know any comments okay thank you